What's up, Aquarius? Oh, with your November love general reading. This is for the lovely Aquarius's Aquarian Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Aquarius out there. So guys, this is a general, as always in a general, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective, so just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. Spirit, please bring forth the current energies surrounding Aquarius for the month of November. The Tower. Two of Wands. Eight of Coins. Page of Cups in reverse, and the Hangman in reverse. Okay. Secondly, I'm getting as well, we're going to go into it now and see what else we have, but it feels like there's almost a sense of kind of you trying to understand something, maybe trying to read too much into something. It may be regarding which direction you're heading when it comes to your relationships, romantic life, and it feels like something's going to come out or move for it a lot better than you had ever expected or anticipated here and so you are on the right track involving what seems to be partnerships or a specific partnership here so if that kind of sounds like maybe what you could be going through or if this message is for you again it's only going to be for a specific group of people so just take if it's going to resonate with you but let's get into it and see what more spirit wants to bring through here so tune us in then today, please, Spirit, to whoever this message is for that we're tuning into today and allow, please, for those souls who this is for to be guided to this message. Yeah, I'm being shown walls that are breaking down, okay, with the death card here. So you may have been through, well, let's see, let's get the cards out here. So tell me, Spirit, about this message. What is it that you want to talk about here today for this specific group of people you may actually be receiving a gift from someone close to you. It could be a friend or it could be a romantic interest, a lover. You may be receiving a gift here. They want you to know. And all is well. I keep hearing all is well. So this is definitely for someone who may be worried about something or you've been concerned um, about some aspect of your life, most likely involving your romantic partnerships or just your romantic life. And they want someone to know here that all will be well. So let's see, tell us more than peace, spirit. Something is um, getting ready to be resolved, okay? We have the judgment, yeah. And I was actually seeing judgment before as well. Something is about ready to be resolved. And you may be actually waiting for news, news from afar, news or information from a particular, again, person or situation, which I feel you will be receiving. Now, I'm also getting to, we have the devil here at the bottom and the queen of swords. For those of you who have been maybe attached to a very heavy cycle, a heavy person involving love, what you need to know here, if this aligns with you, is that again, same kind of scenario, you know, all will be well. You seem to be moving into territory, which is um, involving some kind of resolution. I keep getting resolution. Everything is okay. Everything will resolve. There's going to be a resolution with something that you feel has been challenging you or that you feel you have been, you maybe haven't received the answer or the closure or the um, outcome that you had been hoping for. And with this great happiness, you actually are much more ahead of the game in this than you think that you are, okay, with the great happiness here and the judgment. So you are actually at a a moment here coming in soon if you have not experienced it yet where the level kind of happiness the level of connections interactions possibly even a particular connection is going to be coming in here to where you can actually be together with somebody or be together with a group of people here so and i'm hearing that you know some of you if this does resonate with you also you may have actually said goodbye to somebody for a few of you you may have had to end something most recently, and it feels like that was actually in your best interest. So if you did do that recently, then you're aligning with this reading. You did the right thing. You ended something, and actually it was it actually really caused a um, kind of ripple effect here for what's about to come in next for, for you to experience true happiness and true fulfillment. So you are in the right track. You've made the right decisions. You've done the right steps. And... Um, 
Yeah, so let's see a little bit more. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Again, all will be well. With the Seven of Pentacles here, for those of you who this could be like an existing um, situation, you may have been wondering, again, have you invested your time wisely? Are you on the right track here? Tell me more, Spirit, about this message here for whoever this is for today. Tell us more for the specific group of people, the lovers, strength, and the Queen of Wands, and temperance is behind that. Yes, the answer will come to you. Okay, you're about to receive an answer to something that you've asked for, something that you have been wanting, something that you've been maybe even praying for, or a situation with which you've been hoping for a you've been hoping for a some kind of coming together. Although it doesn't have to be with a specific person, because it will depend. If you had walked away from something recently, then that was the right choice. Others of you, though, there's actually going to be some get-together coming in soon um, for this reading. And Spirit seems to want you to really know if anything from this reading. I keep hearing over and over, all is okay. All will be well. So maybe you've been worried. Maybe you've been kind of um, upset about something. Or you've been wondering, again, did I take the right path? Or is are things working in my favor involving romantic connections? Are things working in my favor involving something which is going to be my happy ending at the end of this and the answer i'm getting is yes so someone needs to hear that right now that it feels like um your love life actually has been extremely protected as of recently things are aligning in a way that you wouldn't even really see how much they are truly aligning it feels like with this angel wings here as well and the um judgment card there's definitely a beautiful sense of your love life being guided and you about to kind of receive a gift here, receive the cherry on top when it comes to your romantic partnerships, even possibly friendships as well for some of you with the lovers here and getting together with friends. It feels like you're in what's in store. So it's like what's in store for the future. This is definitely for a group of people who need to know that this is a future timeline reading that what's about to be in store for you is actually going to be very beautiful someone could be definitely reaching out very soon to you okay so it's a get together with the dogs here it's definitely some kind of chatter some kind of get together that you will be having a moment here with a specific person or a group of friends maybe a group of maybe people and again for that one group of you I was getting to where there was a recent misunderstanding that you had with someone or maybe you have just been worried about that connection if it's recent um, you will have a mending and a healing of that. You will see them again. You will come back together with this person. You will talk things through. Um, it's going to be okay. It's going to go better than you had expected. Um, and then the other group of you is more so something that's about to be dropped in, something that's about to be coming in involving communication from somebody or something. And it's going to kind of make you see the situation clearly that this was your happy path that's been waiting for you. Okay. So tell us more about this reading, please, Spirit. What else is coming up here? I'm hearing the name Michelle. What else is coming up here for this reading for whoever we're tapping into today? And you may have really been there for other people. You may have been giving a lot of your time, effort, energy to people around you, maybe even involving third-party connections, involving situations which had taken from you, and you were always kind of the one left hanging, or you were always the one giving. Um, but that's about to churn. The tables with that are about to churn is what this is. Your happiness, your great happiness is is coming. We have here looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, photograph. Tell me more about this message, please, Spirit. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, affection, attraction, the phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. With the phoenix here and the lovers, there's a new phase that's about to come in here. In your love life and it's going to be very much of something that uh you have maybe even done for yourself you have changed you have transformed you have set the foundation for your own self-love here with the queen of wands and the shrink card and again i'm getting here that something that you felt was that you were worried about some somebody from the past some situation that maybe if you were specifically involved in some kind of third party dynamic or something which again just made you feel like you were left out always or or no one shows you or the person that you wanted didn't choose you see you're coming into a spiritual union the two of cups here and it's definitely a message here that you 
it's like I'm being shown dominoes and they are kind of aligning right now. And then one domino falls and everything else is going to go in, in the right way in your direction with this card. You are on the right track. So you are truly on the right track here to finding love, to coming into a union involving love here. And again, if you found this reading, you probably have been in, to some level, you've been worried or you've been questioning this recently. Like, am I on the right track? Um, am I about to attract this love or this possibly reconciliation for some of you? And the answer is yes. There's something which is definitely about to be changing here that you are prepared for, you are ready for. Um, the universe has been watching you and seeing that you have been um, doing kind of your own growth and your inner work and that you are truly ready and prepared to receive this. So all is well. I just keep getting over and over. All is well. What else can you tell us for this message, please, Stuart? The world, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. And you also need to know that you are enough just as you are. You may have, and that could be part of what you've been worried about, somehow intermixed in this. Maybe you felt like, you know, you were too much for somebody or that something about what you offer, you've been questioning within yourself as if, again, am I going to find love or am, is what I've been offering to this connection recently with this specific person uh, for, am I on the right track? And there's a feeling of everything is, is lining up here in this way. So I feel like with the root chakra also in the bottom, we have one. So we have one, one with the world. So definitely one could be an angel number two, that could be significant for you, but it, it's also, you know, new beginnings. Um, I'm here nervous system. This can be very specific, but for somebody with the root chakra, I don't even know if that connects to our nervous system or not, but of course the root chakra is about safety, security, feeling safe and secure. And yeah, this is at the bottom before too. And here it is again. It has a lot to do here with you needing to know that you will be supported. Again, there's a foundation here that's going to be either rebuilt Okay, or that you will have this opportunity coming in with a particular person that you have yet to meet even. And what you need to know is that this is going to be a very solid connection. This is something that you um, don't have to really, again, worry that you are going back to the past and having connections that are falling apart or that are not giving back to you. There's a feeling of it's time for the fulfillment of your wishes to come in in love in matters of love here. And this is actually something where I feel, let me actually confirm what this dogs is about then, because I'm getting it could be something which is coming in very soon, very quickly, actually. So for whoever this is for, Spirit, um, tell me about this dogs getting together with friends. What is this about? Six of Cups, the Tower. What is this dogs getting together with friends for the viewer? Tell me more about what this is, please. You of wands and here's the empress again coming up at the bottom let me grab this oracle card actually again tell me about the dogs getting to the getting together with friends there's a new start here okay tell me more though please fear tell me more the thing together with friends this could be a new person for some of you okay this will depend on how it connects with you personally, but there's somebody who's going to be wanting to be with you, maybe flirt with you, maybe say that I like you, maybe a crush, maybe something new coming in. And um, again, it feels like this is something, yeah, definitely keep his arrow is striking here. But what you need to know is that it's like, you see the hand of cards, it's a gamble. It's something which you don't see coming here after an ending. So for those of you who I mentioned, if you went through a breakup recently, that was the right choice to do because it seems like this is you not chasing anymore. We're not having to look for love or not having to go. It's like you're not in that energy anymore in yourself anyway. You're in the Empress energy. So you have found yourself or you have, have found the stability within yourself. And so because of that, as a result of that, it's bringing in some kind of opportunity, which feels like it has not grounded yet, which is why I can't really tell what it is because it's it's like it's floating. It's something where it's coming in suddenly, unexpectedly in the near future, though, where somebody is going to you either collide with somebody spontaneously, randomly, um, surprise invitation that says here, surprise meeting. And what you need to know, again, that it will go much better than what you had expected or that, what, what you had thought. So take how this will fit. If you're already planning some kind of get together or trip or you're hoping to meet somebody at some event or something like that, 
it will go well. You will have somebody there who's going to, you know, you'll connect with. It could also be that, um, you know, again, it's like the endings that have happened, the transformation that you've gone through. It feels like you are going to be having a sudden spontaneous get together or meeting with somebody. Uh, it could be someone that you know, I mean, maybe with the six of cups here, it could be something like that to where someone just suddenly returns. Um, but I think the main thing that you need to know, regardless of this, whichever category you're in, is that with the world and the great happiness and the root chakra and the empress, like I said, you don't have to worry. Um, so if you're sitting there and wondering to yourself, is it this person? Is it the past? Is it something else? Whatever path you're being currently led to is going to take you by surprise, but it's going to be very positive, very beautiful. And you are a, um, going to be having this ignition of a connection that comes in here and you are in the right track. Everything that you've done up until this point has led you to where you're heading. So you will be interacting with somebody is all I know here. So let's see any final messages that we have. Final messages for whoever this is for today. Any final messages? And I'm getting to with this chaser card. You are not going to be having to chase anything anymore. Um, something is coming to you. A phone call. Okay, yeah. So some of you are getting a phone call from somebody. And if this again aligned to you, then you would be kind of feeling this intuitively. Or you're expecting it. Like, let's say that you're expecting to hear from somebody or you're going to some gathering or a party or event or it could be a few different things. But you are going to be hearing definitely from somebody, um, someone who likes you, someone who has an interest in you, someone who, you know, all the events have kind of led you to this moment. You've taken the right turn. You've taken the right path or you've just gone through your substantial growth within and now it's like Cupid's arrow is here. Now the ignition of the spark is here. Now this person is here. And it seems to be a gamble. It seems to be a risk. You know, maybe they're not showing their true cards right now or they're not showing how they feel right now. And you don't know if that's the right track. That's why from the beginning I had heard this message is for someone that doesn't need to worry because something is um, unfolding in the background here for you. And it's exactly what's meant for you. And it's exactly what has been meant this whole time with that judgment card. You know, like I said in the beginning, it's it's something which is being on a level exposed or given to you in that way. So we have scripting. Some of you could have written about this in a journal. That could be a confirmation for you. Um, it's also like rewriting your story, maybe rewriting your love connections, opportunities, things like that, that you've been attracting. So one last card, we'll get the advice here from this deck. What is the advice or the final card for someone very specific? I'm hearing that you actually could have a friend. This is super specific, but you could have a friend who who's matching you with somebody in your friend group or someone that they know. So for example, you may go to, again, like I said, like a party or birthday party or wedding reception or something, and your friend um, has matched you with someone that they know or like their you know, husband's friend or something like that. And then you are there. And then suddenly that that person comes in and that they actually are like a true match for you. Because there is something about friends for a few of you watching this, if this is for you. Um, or you may be invited somewhere, like I said, and then that's kind of where you have this like sudden meeting with somebody. There's just, there's definitely this moment coming together feeling to where it's colliding at this certain time. And that could be why you need to know that the decisions that you've made here be the letter. There's an invitation to something. Some kind of good news is arriving. Okay. Okay, last card. Last card for this reading. We have the Black Panther. This came up in the last reading I just did. Because this is about your true path and power. So something about what you've accessed within yourself is what has led you to this. You are the phoenix. There's some very powerful energy within you that is coming online. And it feels like with this ace of wands, passion ignited. Um, you could even be someone who is, I've been saying this in like every reading, but you could be very admired coming in soon with the dogs, getting together with friends, people who just notice your presence. They notice you. You may have also been stepping into so much of your authentic power that it has made it has kind of like washed away whatever happened before, or it has sort of um, led even people to see what they have lost within you. 
So you are very much owning your own energy right now. If this is for you, you're somebody who has a very true grounded presence. You could be identifying as a divine feminine here too. Taurus, Libra energy is coming up with the Empress, but that doesn't have to be the case for everybody. And it just feels like because of that power that you're holding, because of that magnetization that you have within yourself, you seem this is where you're attracting someone uh, to you and where you seem to be attracting. For some of you also specifically, this could be like a work event that you go to. And it's also like a work opportunity. But then you also have someone romantically interested in you there as well. Um, there's two things. Yeah, there's a bonfire, see, social get-togethers, igniting a new spark. I don't know. There's some kind of social get-together. So let me know if this connects with you, if you're going to some event or if you get invited to a, a party I keep getting or get-together. This event is going to be um, really fun and it's going to go better than you had hoped or better than you had expected. And... It may not even be a group of people for others of you. This could even just be one person, whoever they are, someone that you, someone coming back or someone new who's about to approach. Um, and you will have a good time together. You will hang out together, just the two of you, if that's the case. And it feels like that's that new kind of flirtatious direction opening where you will hear from somebody and things will move from there. So I will leave it here. I hope this reading could reach whoever it's for. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if it connects with you. I love to hear. And I will talk to you all next time. Take care. And, and secondly, I'm getting as well. We're going to go into it now and see what else we have. But it feels like there's almost a sense of kind of you trying to understand something, maybe trying to read too much into something. It may be regarding which direction you're heading when it comes to your relationships, romantic life. And it feels like something's going to come out or move forward a lot better than you had ever expected or anticipated here. And so you are on the right track involving what seems to be partnerships or specific partnership here. So if that kind of sounds like maybe what you could be going through or if this message is for you, again, it's only going to be for a specific group of people. So just see if it's going to resonate with you. But let's get into it and see what more Spirit wants to bring through here. So tune us in then today, please, Spirit, to whoever this message is for that we're tuning into today. And allow, please, for those souls who this is for to be guided to this message. And yeah, being shown walls that are breaking down, okay, with the death card here. So you may have been through, well, let's see, let's get the cards out here. So tell me, Spirit, about this message. What is it that you want to talk about here today for this specific group of people? You may actually be receiving a gift from someone close to you. It could be a friend or it could be a romantic interest, a lover. You may be receiving a gift here. They want you to know. And all is well. I keep hearing all is well. So this is definitely for someone who may be worried about something or you've been concerned um, about some aspect of your life, most likely involving your romantic partnerships or just your romantic life and they want someone to know here that all will be well so let's see tell us more than peace spirit something is um getting ready to be resolved okay we have the judgment yeah and i was actually seeing judgment before as well something is about ready to be resolved and you may be actually waiting for news from afar news or information from a particular, again, person or situation, which I feel you will be receiving. Now, I'm also getting to, we have the devil here at the bottom and the queen of swords. For those of you who have been maybe attached to a very heavy cycle, a heavy person involving love, what you need to know here, if this aligns with you, is that again, same kind of scenario, you know, all will be well. You seem to be moving into territory, which is um, involving some kind of resolution. I keep getting resolution. Everything is okay. Everything will resolve. There's going to be a resolution with something that you feel has been challenging you or that you feel you have been, you maybe haven't received the answer or the closure or the um, outcome that you had been hoping for. And with this great happiness, you actually are much more ahead of the game in this than you think that you are, okay, with the great happiness here and the judgment. So you are actually at a, a moment here coming in soon, if you have not experienced it yet, where the level kind of happiness, the level of 
connections, interactions, possibly even a particular connection is going to be coming in here to where you can actually be together with somebody or be together with the group of people here. So, and I'm hearing that, you know, some of you, if this does resonate with you also, you may have actually said goodbye to somebody. For a few of you, you may have had to end something most recently, and it feels like that was actually in your best interest. So if you did do that recently, then you're aligning with this reading. You did the right thing. You ended something, and actually it was, it actually really caused a um, kind of ripple effect here for what's about to come in next for, for you to experience true happiness and true fulfillment. So you are in the right track. You've made the right decisions. You've done the right steps. And um, yeah, so let's see a little bit more. We have the seven of pentacles. Again, all will be well. With the seven of pentacles here, for those of you who this could be like an existing um, situation, you may have been wondering, again, have you invested your time wisely? Are you on the right track here? Tell me more, Spirit, about this message here for whoever this is for today. Tell us more for the specific group of people, the lovers, strength, and the queen of wands, and temperance is behind that. Yes, the answer will come to you. Okay, you're about to receive an answer to something that you've asked for, something that you have been wanting, something that you've been maybe even praying for, or a situation with which you've been hoping for a, you've been hoping for a, some kind of coming together, although it doesn't have to be with a specific person, because it will depend. If you had walked away from something recently, then that was the right choice. Others of you, though, there's actually going to be some get together coming in soon um, for this reading. And Spirit seems to want you to really know if anything from this reading, I keep hearing over and over, all is okay, all will be well. So maybe you've been worried, maybe you've been kind of um upset about something or you've been wondering then did i take the right path or is are things working in my favor involving romantic connections are things it working in my favor involving something which is going to be my happy ending at the end of this and the answer i'm getting is yes so someone needs to hear that right now that it feels like um your love life actually has been extremely protected as of recently Things are aligning in a way that you wouldn't even really see how much they are truly aligning. It feels like with this angel wings here as well and the um, judgment card, there's definitely a beautiful sense of your love life being guided and you about to kind of receive a gift here, receive the cherry on top when it comes to your romantic partnerships, even possibly friendships as well for some of you with the lovers here and getting together with friends. It feels like I'm hearing what's in store. So it's like, what's in store for the future? This is definitely for a group of people who need to know that this is a future timeline reading, that what's about to be in store for you is actually going to be very beautiful. Someone could be definitely reaching out very soon to you. Okay, so it's a get together with the dogs here. It's definitely some kind of chatter, some kind of get together that you will be having a moment here with a specific person or a group of friends, maybe a group of maybe people, 